Alex, let's get out of here. Stand by, everyone. Hold it there, Penny. Saturn is ready to launch some, and I'm ready to head into the mountains. Come in, Sam. Saturn has detected body heat just ahead of you. Over. Copy that, Elvis. Oh, it's Uncle Sam. Come in, Elvis. I found them, and I'm bringing them down. Roger that, Sam. I'll bring Saturn back. I'm sorry, Sam. I should have checked the weather before heading off. Yes, Gareth, you should. Winter weather can be very dangerous, especially in the mountains. Well, you can be sure I won't do it again. Going up into the mountains was very brave, Sam. You think that was brave, Elvis? I still have to tell Mrs. Chen we don't have a great big Christmas tree. Or maybe we do. That really is the biggest Christmas tree Ponty Pandy has ever seen. Well, we can thank Penny for that. She brought the fallen tree down from the mountains. She saved the day in more ways than one. It's a pity Grandad never got to give us a magical Christmassy Christmas. Ho, ho, ho! Merry Christmas, everybody! <laughs> oh, 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 look! Santa sent a sleigh! I think this is the most magical Christmassy Christmas Ponty Pandy has ever had. <laughs> Norman Bryce is trapped on a burning ice rink with a penguin. Norman Price is trapped on a burning ice rink with a penguin. Did he say penguin? Come on, we'll take Jupiter. Everyone. I think we're okay. The ice is melting uh, and the water will put out the fire. It's an electrical fire, Mike. Water just makes it more dangerous. What are we going to do, Sam? Ellie, you turn off the power. Arnold, you blast the fire with foam. Roger, Roger that, Sam. Sam. I'll get Norman. Stay calm, Norman. I'm on my way. Oh! Ah! Now look what you've done. My human Sam can't reach me. Norman, use your penguin to skate to me. I didn't mean what I said, Pengy. You really are a super penguin. Now get me out of here! Come on, Norman. You can do it. Now, Norman, this penguin is to help you to learn to skate. You're not meant to play ice hockey with it. Sorry, Sam. And certainly not when there's electrical equipment around. Yes, you knocked over me lights. Only because they weren't secure, Mike. You should have checked those stands properly. What? Oh, I'm sorry, Sam. It's my own fault. But now my whole ice rink's melted. It'll take me ages to fill it again with me garden holes. 
Don't you worry about that, Arnold? You'll soon have your ice ring back. On a cold night like this, it'll be frozen by morning. Yay! We can play on the ice rink after all. Where's Super Penguin, Norman? I don't need him anymore. I can skate perfectly well on my own. Wow! Pass to me! To me! Wow! Flyers above the drain top. No worries, Sam. No, Maxo, look! Your phone call worked! <gasps> it's a UFO! Until this blizzard blows over. There's just too much snow. That's it. Snow. Drop me off here, Tom. I'm so sorry, Sam. That'll teach me to wear a cardboard box on my head. You mean an astronaut's helmet, Gareth? <laughs> oh, yes. This way, everyone. The clouds are lifting. I'm sorry I tried to play a prank on you, James. I wasn't really fooled. I know aliens aren't real. Oh, yes, they are. One visited my house last night. Really? Yes, he was a little green man with seven eyes, twelve tentacles, a purple moustache, and he... Oh! Wow! The Northern Lights! The Aurora Borealis? Aren't they amazing? I tell you what's really amazing. Norman isn't saying anything. Small step for Norman. One giant leap for mankind. You'll slide down this um gentle slope, and I'll follow behind, filming you so it will look like the monster is chasing you down the mountain. But Uncle Sam told us not to go past those boundary ropes, Norman. Action! I look scared. Look out! Danger! Brilliant acting, you two. You really do look scared. Avalanche! Have a what? Sam? Norman 
Sarah and Mandy have been caught in an avalanche. Norman, Sarah and Mandy have been caught in an avalanche. We're on our way, sir. Okay, everyone. Now it's time to ski. Uh. Ah! We'll zigzag back and forth across the avalanche zone, just like we practiced. Listen out for your transceiver, and when it beeps louder, the kids are close by. It's beeping louder, Sam. We're getting close. Hello, Sarah, Mandy. They're trapped in the hut. Great snowplow, Elvis. Huh? I got it. Oh, thanks, Penny. <laughs> Safe now. Thanks, Uncle Sam. You really shouldn't have gone beyond the boundary ropes. They're there to protect you from danger. I'm sorry, Fireman Sam. I just wanted to make a really scary movie. Well, Norman, you might have made it a little too scary. <gasps> Maybe I did. Trevor, what's it like in there? Oh, it's getting very snug and warm in here. Why don't you take your scarf off, Trevor? <laughs> no. Help! Norman? Sarah and James are trapped on the lake and the ice is melting! I'll call Fireman Sam. And now it's time for the most totally brilliant piece of winter rescue equipment ever! Sarah and James are stuck on the frozen lake and the ice is melting. Sarah and James are stuck on the frozen lake. Don't worry, you two. Fireman Sam is on his way. Elvis, go back. I'm so cold. Don't let go, James. This penny, it's an inflatable rescue path! Ooh! Whoa! Oh. Tie it to the end of the jetty, Penny, then hold it steady. Sarah! James! It's okay! We're coming to get you! Done! It's going to sink! Don't panic! I'm here! Very strange. Did either of you see what happened to Mike? He went that way. He was being chased by a giant snowball. What? 
Mike could be down there, injured and freezing. We have to get to him, and fast. But that slope is too dangerous for Jupiter to drive down, Sam. You're right, Penny. Only one thing for it. I need a blanket, a rope, a warm drink, and your snowboard, Norman Price. Wow! Look at that! Fireman Sam's better than Billy Bob Blizzard! not hurt, but he's fallen into a pothole, so we're going to need Tom Thomas to winch him out. I'll put a call out straight away. Here comes Tom Thomas now. We'll have you out in no time, Mike. I'm lowering the harness now, Sam. Right, we're off to do some more snowboarding. Uh, that snowboard of yours, Norman Price, looks suspiciously like your mother's ironing board. She's not going to be very happy about that. Oh, uh, it was his idea. No, it wasn't. It was yours. Well, whoever it was helped me to save Mike Flood. It was mine. No, it wasn't. It was mine. <laughs> Come on, Mike. Let's get you home. You see, Dennis, Moose isn't the only one who knows about survival. We've run out of things to burn. We need to keep warm until help comes. I'll see what else is on the bus. Uh, here you go, Trevor. Burn this. Oh, thanks, Norman. Ah! Ah! The bus! We're on a lake. And the fire has made the ice crack. Get back, everyone! Get back! My precious picture of Norman was on that bus. Now we have nowhere to shelter and no fire. If Moose doesn't get help soon, we're in big trouble. Emergency! A uh, bus has gone off the road and we need help fast. Great tangled hoses! Trevor's bus has gone off the road! Trevor's bus is in trouble! The passengers need our help! When's someone coming to rescue us, Dad? Very soon. Listen! They're coming! It's Fireman Sam! Elvis, make sure everyone is a safe distance away. Penny, you'll be ready in Jupiter. Everybody stand back. Activating winch. Penny, you might need to back up to help the winch. Right you are, Sam. Now, let's get some tea on and make sure everybody's nice and warm. Trevor, you saved it. Eh? Save what? My lovely picture. You knew how precious it was to me. Oh, Trevor, you were a real hero. I'd hate it to lose this. It's Norman. 
Snowman is a baby with no clothes on. <laughs> I have to say, Moose, well done for going out in that blizzard to fetch help. That was very plucky. Hey, what can I say, Trevor? Plucky is my middle name. <laughs> you know, back in Canada, we always say, first rule of snow survival, loud noises cause avalanches. No problem. I'm sure I got a torch. Oh, no. I was charging the battery and I forgot to pick it up again. I've got an idea. Excellent survival skills, James. I'm really worried now, Charlie. I think the twins might have got lost in the snow. Right. Let's call Fireman Sam. Oh, what a marvelous conception. <laughs> oh, an emergency. James and Sarah are missing in the snow. James and Sarah are missing in the snow. This is just the job for Saturn. Sam, you take Mercury. Penny and Elvis, you go in Venus with Saturn. Keep in radio contact. Sign, Elvis. Not yet, Sam. Uh, wait, what's that? That could be them, but there's three of them. Sam, I think I got them. There's a cave in the woods 100 meters east from where you are. Right you are, Elvis. James, Sarah. We're in here, Uncle Sam. Don't worry. I'll have you out in no time. Oh, oh, thanks, Uncle Sam. <laughs> thanks, Sam. How did you find us? Ooh, is it a UFO? No, it's a special camera that uses heat to find people. Wow! Penny, Elvis, Saturn's found them. Everyone's safe and sound. Whoa! Are you okay, Uncle Sam? I'm fine! You look just like a polar bear! <laughs> you might not be a real polar bear, Uncle Sam, but you won the competition for us! You always save the day, even when you fall in the snow. Snowman, <laughs> 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 where are you? Ah! Norman Place! That's cheating! <laughs> Got you! <laughs> I'm freezing now! I'm going to get my hat! There you go. Nearly there. Uh, Elvis, Penny, come and see this. Ooh, that's lovely, Sam. Mm, I love the smell of a roaring fire. Fire. Uh, oh, no. Sorry, Sam. Stay still, Norman. Why would I stay still if I'm going to be hit by a snowball? <laughs> you can't get me inside! <laughs> Uh-oh. <gasps> I think we'd better call Fireman Sam! There we go! All up and running! This place will be as warm as toast in no time! <laughs> Excellent work, Mike! Ooh! An emergency! Fire at the Flood's house! Oh! There's a fire at the Flood's house! Oh! The fire at the Flood's house! Wait a minute! That's where I live!
as long as you're all right. Shut the gas off, Elvis. What happened? What were you cooking? Um, Norman's mum's scarf. Oh, I think it might be a bit overdone. I'm in such a lot of trouble. No change there, then, Norman. Fire in the cut price supermarket, Sam. We've had a call from Mrs. Price. There's a man overboard in the bay. Wait, Sam. What's up? Another message has come in. There's a man overboard in the bay. Send Penny to man the lifeboat, sir. R -r 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 right for us, Sam. Penny. I'm already on it, sir. It's an electrical fire, Elvis. We need to cut the power first. Over there. Right you, Sam. It's OK, Dillis. The fire is out now. Everything is under control. Too many plugs in one of these old adapters. That's what the problem was. Elvis is right, Dillis. Those old adapters are very dangerous. You must be careful not to overload your sockets. I tried to tell my Norman that we had too many lights, but he just wanted more and more and more. Sorry, ma'am. Oh! Oh! <laughs> Look who I found swimming in the bay. The man overboard was this blow-up Santa. <gasps> yes! I may have lost my Christmas lights, but at least I've got my blow-up Santa back. Give him here, Penny. We're going to put him on the roof. On the roof? Are those Santas designed for garden display? What did I tell you, Norman Price? But, Mum... Norman Price. I think it would be better if Santa could help us say thank you to all the nice firemen for everything they've done. <laughs> Cheer up, Norman. It's very generous of you to offer us your big blow-up Santa. And look, I've made some mince pies to share with you too. Yes, Norman. It was very kind. Now everyone in Ponty Pandy can see Santa. Well, I, I didn't want to be greedy. <laughs> <laughs> Norman, save some for everyone else. This is a much better place for this big centre, and hopefully he won't cause any more accidents either. Mince pie, sir. <laughs> Thank you, Elvis. <laughs> <laughs> I did it! I trained Radar to present the trophy! <laughs> There's a fire at Dillis' shop. Ooh, ooh. There's a fire at the Whole Fish Cafe as well. We have two emergencies. A fire at the Cut Price store and a fire at the Whole Fish Cafe. Sam, you and Elvis deal with the shop. Penny and I will head for the cafe. Right, sir. Ah! 
It's an electrical fire. So first, I'm going to turn off the power. Chocolate, anyone? Yes, oh, please. Yes, please, Bronwyn. Mike and Sam. Oh, sorry about the fire, Sam. I shouldn't have left my work unattended. And we shouldn't have wanted so many lights. Sorry. And I suppose I shouldn't have wanted loads either. Well, I'm afraid the competition is cancelled. Oh, that's oh. not fair. But no competition means no trophy. Well, there is someone who should get a trophy, and the winner is... Elvis, for being the best dog trainer in Ponty Pandy. Hooray!